Hello and welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a couple days since I recorded a game, but I've been pretty busy recently and in all honesty I haven't had quite too many games that are worthy of being recorded. Uh, Vendillion Click tends to draw out scoops pretty quickly. Um, though I enjoy playing decks so much, I did have a request recently uh, to build a deck and I think I'm going to end up building at least one of each mono color to play on here on occasion while blue is still my favorite. Uh, so this time I'm playing a different commander. I win the die roll. Yisan the Wanderer Bard. Um, so Yisan is a human rogue designed by Fr Brian Fargo. Uh, he gets a verse counter, and I search my library for a creature with CMC equal to the number of verse counters and put it onto the battlefield. Uh, and it's three to tap it, so mana cost three and ability three. Now I have an absolutely busted start. I have turn one Yisan, which uh, mana crypt is in the deck. Uh, I've been back and forth about actually including Solring just because Solring prevents uh, having Solring cost of mana in the opening hand. This the crypt is basically a nod to I'd rather have crypt than Mox Diamond, which is what the dual commander lists run. Um, Nissan was banned in French or dual commander, whichever you refer to it as. I call it proper name dual. Um, Nissan is essentially a combo general. Uh, there's a few different builds, but because uh, you're pulling the combo straight out of your deck, you can adjust how you're playing to the... I, I can change my pace of the game based on what I'm, I see going on and change what I get. So it's a very adaptable deck, and that's what drew me to it originally as Mono Green goes instead of something like Omnath. Omnath creates a clock in the way that he creates gas, um, in the sense that if you don't draw anything, Omnath is just a can function as an abyss for the opponent continuously because they just have to keep blocking it. Yeast, on, other, on the other hand, creates his own inherent value, and it's one of the things I really like about uh, this deck. While Yisan himself is not the clock, uh, the things that he's going to get will become clocks. Alright, so now I have Wood Elves, usually like to do that into play. This is the first game I've played on MTGO with this deck. I've played it on Cockatrice a few times. So, uh, Orin Reef, probably the worst land in the deck. Uh, just because it comes in tapped, everything else is untapped. This is a very streamlined list, although I'm still missing some of the more money cards, at least on MTGO, like uh, Crater Hoof Behemoth and Avenger of Zendikar. But uh, it's getting there. So uh, we got some removal just in case we need it. Wood Elves, uh, Chameleon Colossus. Uh, we'll cover their commander in a sec. A few lands, but turn one Yisan and a tap land on turn two because we'll be using Yisan is uh, definitely a keep in my book. My opponent is uh, Odelsk. Odel. I'm not even going to try to and butcher it. They are playing Child of Alara, so uh, a lot of different things. I've, usually Child isn't Planeswalker Super Friends because Child destroys them. I've usually seen Horde of Notions or uh, the Sliver Queen as Super Friends, so Child can be like a land dedicated deck. I think you'll see what strategy he may be on as soon as it comes out. I put in the comments for this that I was testing this deck it's my first game actual game with this particular brew where I am restricted by the amount of money on my deck uh, just don't have the funds to be able to pick up uh, $20 creator hoofs on MTGO it's a digital product there can be an infinite number of them and they still cost $20 for some reason so uh, this is my hand I'm gonna keep it obviously and I believe they keep their hand as well opening ley line of the void now normally that's a very good play Against Mono Green, I do have regrowth effects uh, in my colors, so it makes sense. I'll move these over so I'm not obscuring the stack. And I'm, of course, going to run out turn one Yisan before he could even have Force Spike or something online. So, And it means I have the mana to use it. The other fast mana that might go in this deck it eventually is... Uh, would be Chrome Mox, Mox Diamond, and Lotus Petal as the additional pieces of fast mana. 
because I just need to get Yi Sun in play and active as soon as possible to really get the engine going. Alright, so take some damage from Crypt, no big deal. Draw a Garrick. That will be good late game if I end up getting there. And I make a mistake here. I use Yi Sun on my main step. I forgot that Yi Sun can be used at instant speed. So, a uh, small mistake, but uh, I don't think it's going to come back to bite me. And uh, here's the deck list. I won't skip through it. Uh, now, this is the current iteration. Uh, this was pretty budget for MTGO. I think it was only about 20 tickets. And uh, I was able to trade in a bunch of the shaft that I had from starting on MTGO uh, to a good, maybe a third of this deck, approximately. A uh, bunch of the bulk that's in the deck, lands, mana dorks, uh, acidic slime, a lot of the bulk rares and stuff I was able to get with uh, the shaft that MTGO gives you as gifts for starting online. So I finally was able to get them out of my collection uh, so, this is the deck. I look at a few different options. I don't have any enchantment on the forest, otherwise it would be Arbor Elf, so I'm just going to get uh, Lanor Elves, because got to get that white border madness going on. Um, so, good luck, have fun. He's responding to me. Says, I ho saying, I hope my I hope your testing go goes well. So, and we're going to tap, tap land there. So... I hope some of you have noticed how much I, I love this seven, seven, these 7th edition cards. Uh, I love this set, and come on, no, no other land or else look that badass, and all of my basics are always like that. I've also been playing a lot of Momir Basic, uh, it's the Vanguard format. Uh, if you would like me to upload some of those, I may, just let me know in the comments. Alright, Mana Crypt. Yay, I win a flip. Alright, so now I think for a while, and Wood Elves will get me to 3 mana to use Yisan and Oren Reef. And if he had some removal for Yisan in the interim, I can use the Elves to go with Yisan. Go get a land, and just ship it back now. So I go get my... the. Uh, if you haven't noticed, he's playing Guildgates, so... I immediately am putting him on a maze's end victory condition. It's not the it's nowhere near the fastest way to win the game. And uh, I'm really under no pressure at this point. So I can just try to get my big stuff into play as quickly as possible. So the the two drops Elvish Visionary, certainly a consideration here, just to get some draw power. Priest of Titania, I'll talk about in a sec. Sakura Tribelder, well it gets me a land, but Priest does that. Uh, and then some, because I would have three elves in play at that point. Uh, Script Ranger, pretty cool uh, untap. It is basically um, a pro blue version of uh, Quirion Ranger, and one at two. So that way I can get Quirion at one, or if I didn't get it one, I can get Scrib at two. And uh, Tajuru Preserver. Uh, the anti-edict card. Uh, I'll usually I would grab this against things like Moren or other mo or mono black decks. So I'm going to go get the mana because I have this lovely six drop and this very powerful mana sink in my hand. This leyline of the void is just not going to bother me. Of course, you forget to use Orn Reef. That's okay. I do not draw acidic slime there. I go with the Chameleon Colossus. Uh, what was the draw there? This is a bug, but it's not going to affect it until the final turn of the game. Not sure what I picked up there. It might have just been another land. I'm going to get in with Wood Elves just for a point of damage. And ship it back. And Windswept Heath into Godless Shrine. And I fully expect Damnation here. And my plan. Uh, if it's if it's not if it's not damnation, I might be okay. But an actual damnation that I can't regenerate past would uh, set me back pretty far. And uh, that's why I chose not to deploy Garrick that turn. I wanted to have Garrick to refuel in the event that he does destroy my board. And Honden of Cleansing Fire. Well, never have I been upset to see that come out. So. I see the opportunity to go for a kill here, and you're thinking, 36 life, but uh, keep flying, what's he 
what are you killing him with from 36 life? Well, Chameleon Colossus happens to be an elf. So, figure out how to tap my mana correctly. And Azuri. I skipped through the threes. I'll show them in another video. So, regenerate another target elf. So if you had any wrath that I could regenerate past, Azuri would have been the get and I could have protected uh, Colossus, Titania, and Llanowar. But the second ability is a overrun for elves. So uh, I do not draw Utopia Sprawl there either. So I activate. Alright, so now it's going to tell me that I'm casting Acidic Slime. That is not the play. I activated Azuri here. Let's get the thing in play. Alright, so we're going to ignore that for a sec. So I activated Azuri, gave everything plus three. And if you note it, I think I had a land that there. So I had exactly enough mana to uh, double overrun and then activate Colossus. And Colossus should have a counter on it from Orin Reef. So I was able to double overrun, putting my Colossus up to a 10, and Azuri up to a 9, and Wood Elves up to a 7, and then use the Llanowar Elves and three other lands to double up the Colossus, making it a 20-20 protection from black, which would be... The, one of his only outs at that point would be Slaughter Pact, uh, which cannot kill this. So I trampled in for... Uh, 1, 2, 7, 9, 29, 29, and 9, 38 damage, uh, and dropped him to negative 2. And that's sort of how the Yisun deck works. Uh, it's very efficient at doing what it does, and mostly the top end of the curve is just to rebuild just in case something's gone horribly, horribly wrong. But I hope you guys enjoyed the game, despite the bug here. Uh, getting to see me play something non-blue. Uh, it is combo still, and instead of tempo. But I, I can't shy away from a general that says, search your library on it. Those three magic words. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you want to see some of those uh, Momir basic games, uh, I'll record a couple of them just in case and upload them if you want. There's some really cool ones that I have, and I'll have to dig through, see what I can find. See you guys in the next one.